guys and welcome to today's video. I just got something in the mail and I am so excited to show you. Just take a look at this and tell me what you think it is. Take a look at that and tell me what you think it is. And this might be hard to see because it was upside down, but we are just going to take a look. Tommy, can you read that for me? Test B A U. I don't know how to read it. That was close. Test beauty. Now test, test. Hmm, test. What do you think that's short for? Test. Tesla! That's right. This in this box is a mattress for the Model Y that we have. If you saw our last video, you know that we have the Model Y for a week. And I thought, you know, this is a great opportunity for us to try camping, sleeping in the Tesla. I have a friend who does that quite a bit because he travels so much. And I was like, this is great. We're gonna try this out and see how it is. So pull it out, Tommy, let's see. Can you get the box up? Oh, June's helping. It's a whole family affair. It's so heavy. It is heavy. It's a lot heavier than I thought. Oh, you guys did great. Oh, you know what? This is gonna be a good test. We're gonna see if not only this mattress is comfortable, but if it fits in the sub trunk or the front of the car. That's gonna be a good test to see. Sleep in the front or the trunk? What did you say? Are we gonna sleep in the front or the trunk? The front of the trunk? Sleep in the trunk. trunk. Yeah. We're gonna lay all the seats flat and we're gonna pull this mattress out and you and I, young man, we're gonna go sleep in the Tesla. Yeah. We've had the Model 3 for five years and we've never slept in it because when you lay it back, there's just not as much room and it doesn't lay very flat. The Model Y supposedly it lays a little bit more flat and you have a lot more space so you can actually sleep inside of it. They have mattresses that are made specifically for it. So I'm excited to try this out and test it out and see how well it goes. If you didn't know, Tesla has a mode called camp mode that will allow you to keep the air circulation and the temperature going so overnight, you can sleep. And I've seen a lot of people online talk about how they love to take their Tesla camping because instead of using a tent, they just sleep in their car. So we're gonna give that a shot today and see how well it goes. And not only is this a fun test to do while we have the Model Y, I think it's gonna be a good chance for me and Tommy to hang out and have some father-son bonding time. I've got some fun surprises planned for him that he doesn't know about, that I don't think he knows that the Tesla can do, and you might not know either. It's gonna be a fun night, so let's gather up all of our stuff, hit the road, and find a good camping spot. Did I just spit at the camera? I think I just spit at the camera. Sorry about that, let me. That's better. All right, we've got everything I think that we need here. Tommy, do you want to give us a rundown of what we got? We got candy. Oh we yeah. We got blankets. We got his hip pillows. Yep. We got pillows. We got the mattress. Whatever this is called. We got this mattress. We got a seat. We got this bag. We got this hip. We got this coat. Perfect. These are privacy barriers that you put in the windows so it's nice and dark if there's like a bunch of lights outside. Yeah, we've got our like clothes and snacks. Now we just gotta pack all this in the car and we can hit the road, Jack. Except these. You wanna keep those with you? Yeah. Heck yeah. And I'm not Jack. Oh. All right, so I've got the mattress here. We're gonna see if it will fit in the sub trunk because that will be super convenient and really nice for storage. Ooh, it is very close. Oh, I mean, there's just a little bit of expansion, but it would work in a pinch. Let's try the front and see if it fits better there. Okay, let's see. Come on. Ooh, this might work. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Oh no, it's so close. We might have to make the trunk work. Okay, it's not ideal, but it will still work. We'll just be able to put all of our stuff there. So storage, uh, it's fine. Oh, that, I mean, it is, the sun is going down. It has been a long day, but we are on our way officially. Are you hungry, buddy? Nope. Oh, you're not because I am starving. So we're gonna go get some food. But before we do that, we're gonna get some expert advice from someone who has done this a few more times than I have. 
So believe it or not, my buddy Dan sleeps in his Tesla more than you think because he just travels so much and I don't know, why, why do you sleep in your like, car so much? Everybody's like, YouTuber life is so glamorous. They see <laughs> Mr. Beast and they're like, you guys do so many cool things and then I'm literally sleeping in my car. So yes, you can go and stay in a hotel, but that costs you $100 to $300 depending on where you're at. And so when I'm driving to Los Angeles, I can get inside of my Tesla Model S, put these seats down. I have this big old bed. I just like store it right here for when I go on road trips and it folds out perfectly and I just sleep in there. So I don't know. I love it. I love the adventure of finding a good spot to camp into mm -hmm. and then the air runs great. There's so many things. I love it. Stan's kind of the inspiration behind me and Tommy doing this. He talks about it all the time. I was like, we've got to try this out. So what tips do you have? What should I expect? What should I do? What am I not prepared for? Some of the tips are, even though I have really dark tinted windows, you have to be able to cover up your windows somehow. Check, we got Check. privacy things on there. Yeah, hop in. Hop in, Dan does all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I bought these like heat shields. Yeah. That go on every window and they're meant for all of them. They're okay, they work okay, but uh -huh. um, I usually block off the area. The second thing that I would do is you've got to find a good place. People don't like it when you park a camper or an RV trailer just like on their property. Some businesses right. don't like it. And so this sounds weird, but I'll find a hotel like say a Marriott Courtyard or something or like a Hilton and I find a place in like the back of the hotel mm -hmm. where there's like maybe a tree and I back myself in so it's kind of tucked away and then people don't think about a car being in a right. parking lot there, it's fine. And then there's not a lot of traffic that drives by you because it's just the end of a parking lot. So that's another thing, finding a good spot is important. So you're going to the hotel, you're just not taking advantage of the hotel yes. space, you're just in the parking lot. And if you really want to do this, I'm not going <laughs> to say I've done this or haven't done this, but if you park at an embassy suites, a lot of times they have really good breakfast breakfast with like a chef that makes the omelets. That and I if have you walk had. in and if they don't ask for your key or they don't say, hey, you have to pay for this, and you Free just walk breakfast. in and get food, like maybe there's some good breakfast omelet station you can Ooh, have. Tommy, we might have to find a <laughs> hotel like that where we're gonna go. The other tip is this, if you're going to a big city, I always, obviously like if you're having meetings, you can't like take a shower in your car. So I'd like to find a gym, like a 24 hour fitness oh, or like a, some sort of gym and you buy a day pass for anywhere from $10 to $20. Mm -hmm. You go in, it forces you to work out and be a little bit healthy, but then you can also shower, get ready, toiletries, all that. It's not weird at all. $10 or $20 versus $200 at a hotel, it just is a lot better. Nice. But I did learn one thing last time. Uh oh. Make sure, if you're gonna do this very often, make sure that you put a towel like in your front trunk or something so you have one. Oh, yeah because there might not be a towel at the gym for you to use. Air drying at the random gym in the men's locker room is a little awkward. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> you're using yes. the heater vent to like push the button and then like. <laughs> I'm just standing in this, yeah. Anyway, I won't go into details, but it was really, uh, I was, it was really awkward. So, yeah. and using a little t-shirt that's clean to dry your body doesn't really work as well. So have a towel, Have maybe have some little toiletries that are hidden in there and just find a good spot and Go with it. It's 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 great. You can't do it in a lot of vehicles because they don't have the air that circulates mm -hmm. the whole time. And if you don't have the air that circulates, then your breath and your feet or whatever will smell up the car and make yeah. it nasty. It doesn't breathe well and the windows get all foggy and weird, but with the air circulating, it really, really helps. I mean, I'm camping with a five-year-old who's currently not wearing any <laughs> shoes. So that is something that I have to consider and worry about. But Dan, thank you so much for the tips and advice. Were this you? is our first yes. time going. That's amazing. So did you learn a lot talking with Dan about sleeping in the car? Ding. Awesome, I love that. Now it's time for us to go eat. So if you could pick some camping food, some sleeping in your car food, where would you like to go eat, buddy? McDonald's! McDonald's, I think we can make that happen, buddy. Should we go? Yes. Let's go. Welcome to McDonald's, how may I help you? Hi, can I get cheeseburger happy meal, chocolate milk, medium Dr. Pepper, a medium fry, and that should be it. Dinner of champions, am I right? Howdy. A tasty chalky milk. Perfect. And refreshing Dr. Pepper. Oh, I love that. Cheeseburger happy treat. Oh, I love that. Absolutely. Here you go. Thank you. That's right. Hey, thanks so much. Have a great weekend. Bye, guys. Bye. Okay, we made it to where we're camping camping, sleeping in the car, and it's already dark. We're way behind schedule compared to what we wanted to do. So there's a few things that we need to do. See, Tommy is like already drifting off to sleep. You tired, bud? We gotta have our dinner first. Then we gotta watch a movie. And then what? Then we gotta play a game, that's right. So here's what I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna get our bedding situated, and then you, while I do that, you're gonna sit up here on the front and we'll get you playing a game, okay? We're gonna watch a movie. Movie first? Yes. Okay. All right, let's get set up. Oh my goodness, okay. Holy wind! 
<laughs> oh my gosh, it's so windy outside. We gotta get set up. Uh, we're in a really good spot. I gotta move your car seat. So why don't you hop up here, bud? Okay, take off your shoes, hop right here, and I'll get the bedding set up, okay? All right, so what we've got here is a mattress. It's actually like memory foam or just foam um, instead of like an air mattress. And it's in three different sections and they all fold up. The cool thing is, is it matches and forms with the trunk. So it actually fits really, really nice. We've got all of our blankets up there. It comes with a fitted sheet so you can put a sheet all the way around it, but it is so windy and cold. Oh my gosh, I just gotta hurry and close this up. Okay. Oh my gosh, I did not realize how cold it would be outside. Luckily, we're in the nice warm car. Are you pumped for this? Is this exciting for you? Tommy heard the wind and was like, uh, are you sure we should be doing this? But we've got snacks, we've got food, and guess what? It's time to start a movie, my friend. So where it's dinner and a movie. Let's hit some Netflix and we're ready to rock and roll, baby. Okay, we've got a little update. I just put the whole bed together. I put the sheet down. Tommy's got his pillow. I've got, my pillow is so long. So really this is the only pillow we need, but Tommy's is there just in case. We've got our blankets. I'm going to lay all the way flat, stretching my tippy toes. I can't touch the door. So you can even scoot the seat up forward to give you more headroom or leg room. I think we're gonna sleep pretty good. This mattress, it's, it's, you know, a little foam, but I think it's gonna be pretty nice. I think we're gonna sleep really well tonight, Tommy. He's just loving Bluey. He's just having a good time up there. We haven't even busted out the video game. Like, I think we're gonna have a good time tonight. The wind is blowing pretty hard. I think that's gonna be the biggest thing about sleeping tonight is just the wind. But I got the privacy, you can't even see because it it's doing such a good job. I've got privacy things on all of the windows. The only thing that doesn't have one is this right here, which is perfect because when we turn out all the lights, we'll be able to see all of the stars. How wonderful is that? And we're far enough away that hopefully there's not a lot of light pollution. So I'm excited. This is turning out way better than I ever imagined. Now that I'm not laying back there, there's a better look at what our sleeping situation is like. Got my hip pillow. That is our overnight bag with like our pajamas and toothbrushes and stuff. So yeah, pretty sweet setup, don't you think, Tommy boy? Yeah. Yeah, got your sucker. I'm not see the back yet. Yeah, take a look, tell me what you think. I love it. I'm so happy. Nothing like sugar before bed and camping out with dad, huh? How did it get so big? I lowered the seats down. Oh. Yeah. Are you excited to be doing this with me? I'm so happy you're here with me. I love you, buddy. Hi. Hi, how is it? Good, how are you? Good. Good. Um, did you just get there? No, I mean, we've been here, but we got all the way set up. I'll send you a picture. Oh. I was hoping I could show you on the video chat. What does Tommy think? I love it. Oh, good. I really hope you enjoy your night. Are you guys going to watch a movie? We're watching Bluey right now, and then when we're all done, we're going to play a video game. Fun. Yeah. And then we'll go to bed. Fun. <laughs> no, then eat. Oh, then eat. Oh, I guess he hasn't eaten yet. I'm, I'm done eating. Okay. Hey, good night. I love you. Love you. Say bye to mom. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I press the red button. Okay. I think we're ready for bed, huh? Wait a minute. You've got a bluey pajama set on. And we're watching bluey. What a crazy coinkadink. You know what? We can get in the back and keep watching bluey. I'm gonna get my jammies on and let's go get in the back, okay? Okay, should we say goodnight to mommy? Night. He's a tired boy. Sure love you, mommy. We'll see you later. Bye. 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 You wanna push the button? Before we fall asleep, we are going to be reading The Earth Ninja. These are one of our favorite books. There's all sorts of ninjas and they teach us all different kinds of things. So this one is Earth Ninja. You ready? Yes. All right, Tommy loves these books so much. After lunch, Lazy Ninja threw away his trash. He saw the recyclables bin, but didn't fully understand what it was for. That afternoon, Lazy Ninja and Earth Ninja went to the beach and played with the waves. Suddenly, they noticed a turtle that was lying on the shore wiggling. Your best weapon to conserve our earth could just be the three R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle. I just noticed the screen on the Tesla. Look how awesome that is. 
I like our little setup. I think that's our sign to go to bed. Good night, guys. We'll see you in the morning. Oh my goodness, good morning. Oh, I slept so good. Tommy, how about, Tommy? What the, Tommy turned into a baby? Someone couldn't handle it. <laughs> Good thing you didn't go far. I know, luckily it wasn't too bad. Around two in the morning last night, Tommy was like, Dad, I've got a poo! <laughs> And I mean, if there was a bathroom close by, we probably would have stayed, but the wind was so bad. It was so windy. So, I mean, listen to her, you know, she says it perfectly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, <laughs> I love that she's talking. We came home and Tommy was like, I just wanna stay here. And I was like, okay. Are you telling me to stop? Can we kiss? No. Aw, so nice. How you doing? How you doing? So we came home last night around two in the morning, but I wanted to make sure to do this and do it right. So I slept in the car. We're in the driveway. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie, when I got in, this is not shabby. I would lay on this. This is great. Actually, it's not it feels bad better at all. than a camper mattress. Oh, for sure. Like an air mattress, this is so much better. And the temperature control is so nice. I would definitely sleep in here. And <laughs> She's making yourself comfortable, huh? She's like, I'm gonna sit on this. There you go. She's, She's laughing. laughing. And we took some of the privacy things down, but from the <laughs> inside, that's what they look like. And they actually do a pretty good job, mostly at keeping light out. We had a lot of cars drive by because we were in a place where lots of people go four wheeling and razor riding. And so people were driving by a lot and you could not see the light through but you these. Hear it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then they just, you know, kind of pull off. Ah! We're all ah, Put it back! I hate that. Ugh. I don't know, is that bright? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I did not like that. Uh, is that better, June? That's better, huh? <laughs> On the screen, you can see that it's in camp mode. What I'm interested in is seeing how much battery we use overnight. Granted, we did drive a few miles to get back home, so we have to take that into consideration. But when we started camping, I think we had like 165, 170 miles left on the battery. Okay, let us see. 122. So we started about 165, about 40 miles or so of range used to go from 8 p.m. to almost 8 a.m. 12 hours of camp mode with maybe five miles of driving. I'd say that's pretty decent, keeping it at 72 degrees as well. So we were super comfortable. We didn't use a ton of range. Honestly, I enjoyed it. I did not think it was bad. I would much rather sleep in here than in a tent on a camping pad. That's for sure. So let's see what Tommy's thoughts were. So you didn't quite make it all the way through the night when we camped in the Model Y, but I wanted to ask, did you have a good time? Yes. Is it something that you would want to do again in the future? Yes. Awesome. I'm glad I was able to have that experience with you. I thought it was great. It was definitely better than I thought it was. What'd you think? I want to do it tonight. You want to do it tonight? <laughs> Well, we'll have to figure out a way because unfortunately, I've got to take this back to Tesla today. Oh, <laughs> kind of a bummer, huh? Can we do another Tesla? We'll find out. That would be fun to see, huh? Okay. Well, thanks so much for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up and yeah. we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.